The Celtics beat the Raptors. In that game, Kyrie had 27, 5, and 18 dimes. I do, you know, I, I guess I believe the guy called LeBron. I just can't believe it. You know what I mean? I believe that he did it, but I can't believe that he did it. You know what I mean? That he actually did it, I'm okay with. But I don't understand why he did it. I really don't. Like, what's the point of calling that guy anymore? What's he, is your babysitter? I mean, I don't get it. Hey, it's, it's uh, Kyrie. I just wanted to know. So, so sorry. I, I was so immature. And could you just... Can you give me some, how do I be a leader like you? Can you just give me a few tips? Because I want to, you know, I want to make the finals and, uh, you know, with the Celtics and, and, you know, take on the Warriors. So can you tell me how you, how you did it here and how you're doing it in L.A. and how I deal with these young punks that don't know how to play hard every night? Is that guy the uh, epitome of, like, Jimmy Butler? Who's worse? Because Butler complains and has the bad reputation, right? The, the bad image. Kyrie Irving complains a lot. He complained, did he not? In Cleveland, he, he had to get out of there, right? Now he's in Boston, been there a few years. He's already complaining left and right, is he not? So wh which one's worse? Are they the same? They're the same thing. They just are never happy. They're not happy with their situation, but he's happy making his crappy movies, right? And selling his shoes for uh, $200. Everything else, the, the budget, you know, making his money, he's got that down, the stacks. He's making all the money, got all the fame, the glory, the shoes, the movies, that no, you know, just awful movies. They just the greatest thing ever. But when it comes to playing every night, he's great. Everyone else sucks.